hello everyone in this video i'm gonna show you how you can add any website or any web page inside your android application so let's get started here i have opened a new project and inside the main activity.xml file let's create a web view width and height let's set it to match parent and let's give it an id web view now let's go to our main activity.java file and initialize our web view web view web view equals find view by id r dot id dot web view and then let's say web view dot set web view client new web view client oops web view client and then let's load our url web view dot load url here for example let's say I want to open this website so just copy this website link and paste it inside the load URL now we can also get some settings for our web view so let's say web settings equals web settings equals web view dot get settings here we can have our web view to have javascript enabled web settings dot set javascript enabled let's make it true and then we can load our app So our app is ready so it says service unavailable because we haven't set the permission to use internet so let's go to our android.manifest here let's check for internet permission now let's run our app As you can see it has loaded our website but as you can see inside our app uh, if I go to a second web page and then I click back then it doesn't take me to the previous page it takes it just exits so let's fix that to fix this issue we have to override a method on back pressed oops on back pressed here if web view dot can go back then web view dot go back and else here let's paste the super dot on back pressed this should work So now let's go to docs and now if you press back it will take you to the previous page 
that's it